Hello my people, welcome back to my channel. I'm Fenanikes and I'm so happy to be here once again. You know, it's been a while, like, since I last did a sit-down video. And uh, here I am, back with another video. And uh, I, I just want to make this video as short as possible. So if you haven't subscribed to the channel, kindly hit the subscribe button. Like this video and also share it with your friends. One, and also share it with your friends. One more thing. Kindly turn on your notification bell so that you'll be notified anytime I upload your video. Anytime I upload a new video. Oh, where, where I have so much tension. And, uh, and I'm like, so, basically what I'm going to talk about is just a few things, you know, uh, concerning life. And uh, uh, just the other day, I turned 24. You know like uh i've lived 24 like this is my 24th year on earth so i can say that i know some uh, some little things that i can share with my young ones or um the things that i've learned i myself and uh, the things that i've learned from people you know like in this life you get to learn a lot from people you get to learn a lot with your own experiences and we learn through such you know and uh, i've decided to this to to do this video just talk to somebody out there and encourage them and uh, discourage them at some point but i hope this video will be helpful to you if you haven't subscribed i'm reminding you again kindly hit that subscribe button like this video share it with your friends and also turn your notification bell uh, and also turn on your notification bell so that you'll be notified anytime i upload a new video uh one thing that i've uh, known about life as in the the years that i've lived the 24 years that i've the 23 years that i've lived let me say the 23 years that i've lived and uh since when i knew myself like My camera is misbehaving, but we are going to film anyway. Okay, since when I came to realize that I'm Fena, I'm somebody, and uh, I knew myself, the first thing that I've realized with life is that you should follow what you love and uh, do it with so much passion that people, that people may start thinking you're crazy. Like, hold on to your dream no matter what. Whatever the dream is, and you know you have the ability to do it. You have the ability to manage it, or you have the ability to do it. Just do it. It might be uh, business, it might be studying, it might be uh, doing, uh, uh, doing filming, it might be acting and all. You know, we have so many things, we have so many... Uh, careers and uh, so many things that people can venture in uh, can do and uh, everyone kill them to are talented in their own way um, so in whatever field you're talented in just follow it and do it with so much passion even if at uh, at first it may not uh, pay like uh, most of the time the things that you follow wakati tunanzia unanza from scratch and uh, it's all about you. It's you alone and uh, the struggles, zote ziko kwa your back, the burden about the passion you're following, they are all on your back. And uh, at, at some times, we, we tend to, to think about giving up. And uh, I've realized that uh, uh, through the people that I, I follow, through the stories that I hear around, you know, I have so many people that I follow online, uh, in uh, my social life, you know, and uh, I get to meet so many successful people and uh, the key thing when you listen to them, uh, when you listen to them as they speak um, They usually say that they followed their passion uh, So may, you may find that uh, so many people might be against what you're doing and uh, And uh, sometimes you feel discouraged, but uh, Come to realize, I've come to realize that uh, uh, whatever people say about what you love, about what you do, and uh, you love it, and it's your passion, whatever people have to say does not matter. The, neg the, the negativities will always be there, and uh, we don't have to rely on the negativities. Just focus on your, on your, just focus on your dreams, 
and do your best and work hard because hard work pain and uh, even if it doesn't feel now one day one time it will another th thing that i've learned concerning life is that uh, a lot of people talk away like uh, you know in in life we get to meet a lot of people like sometimes you just can't force relationships you just can't force friendships you know when uh, when something happens you know, God cannot allow something to happen without a reason. When a relationship fails or when a friendship fails, just allow those people to walk away. Like, just allow people to walk away out of, to walk out of your life. And uh, you, even you, you allow yourself to walk out of people's life. Those people, you allow yourself to walk out of people's life. Those people, those people that uh, are not bringing any value to you. You know, you can. Uh, you can be uh, okay what i'm trying to say i'm just talking about quality not quantity you can have three friends wale wa power when you know to these ones i can rely on them and uh, whatever thing that may happen they can go an extra mile just to come through for me like when i'm in trouble when i need something they can just uh, do what they can in their power to come to come to my rescue and uh, you know at uh, other times you may find you have like 50 friends and all of them like new only friends too like uh a lot of many times you find yourself like okay now friends wengi uh most of them want to take what you have and uh we should be wise when choosing friends we should be wise when choosing the company that you need to hang out with because okay, in this life we have seasons and uh, maybe their season in uh, in your life is over and uh, god is allowing them to walk away in one re uh with one reason or another and you're there trying to trying to beg them to stay you don't have to do that when a person decides to walk out of your life just let them go because you don't have to beg for friendship you don't have to beg for relationships you know those people that do not bring value to you and uh, you know growing up you grow and have so many friends those friends that you went to school with let me just say that because that's where that's where my life mostly up on Jonesa same I've had experiences with friendships um let's say those people that you went to school with the same high school or the same college and uh, you finish high school and uh uh mwanzo unakutanga like you're so mko like munatafutana sana and it reaches a point when let's say that uh, let's say one year may shave after you finish high school and you get to see that the number of friends that you've been having zinanza ku reduce you know zinanza ku reduce wengine atamko kwa sana like communication tools zinakatikia from whatever point and uh, unajikuta you no longer talk with these people and wakati mwingine when somebody sits you down and tells you that uh, this person that you're having right now will not be will not be with you or you no longer be talking to them in the next one year or two years maybe you think uh, utafikiria wewe mtu anakudanganya but these things do happen friendships ukatika like zingine hata siku kwa sana unajikuta tu like it ended and you can't even explain how it ended so let's just allow people to walk out of our lives so that we grow and uh, and uh, you know um uh, concerning relationships you might be holding to a relationship and you know pull back without you knowing if somebody if uh, if you know somebody is not bringing value to you or that person is not is not of uh, of the standards that you want of the standards that you want kindly walk away or allow them to walk away from your life if they wish to because you don't know the reason and god allows things to happen for a reason and people disappoint you know people disappoint like people disappoint and uh, there is this kiswahili jin medali ama ni msemo unasema mtegemea ndugu ufa mtegemea ndugu yehova maskini and people disappoint people really disappoint you can put your trust in uh, your friends and uh, put your trust in uh, maybe this person that you trust in very much you tr and uh, all of that all of a sudden they change and uh, things go 
vinyi zinaenda and you are there left alone and uh, sometimes we we are there trying to beg and trying to explain yourself and try to i don't know try to do those funny funny things but let's wake up let's allow people to walk out of our lives it's for our good and it's for their good also and another thing is about failures I've, uh, I've learned to embrace my failures. You know, in this life, you just can't be perfect all the time. There are times that you fail, there are times that you rise, there are times that you uh, ukochini, there are times that ukoju, and it's life. Um, Lingugi, I, okay, I'm a fan of Lingugi, and uh, in one of her videos, she was saying that, uh, you know, this life without failure, Without failure, this life you cannot learn. Without failure in this life, you cannot learn or you cannot grow to another level. Failure gives us room for growth. And uh, through failure, you get to grow. Like your mind in a get to open in, a, in such a way. And uh, also, failure gives us room for improvement. And it also opens our mind in a different way where we reach a point to uh, desire to grow. Like, that's what I've written here. When you reach a, in a kufikisha point, when una desire to grow. Kwa sabu, uki fail, mara ya kwanza, ufail, mara ya pili. Mara ya tatu, you'll be like, kwani what am I not doing, inafanya ni fail. Ama what am I doing, inafanya ni fail. And you get to know, alafu wapo una rectify, or you seek for help. And through that, you go for in, in one way or another. Another thing is uh, about living your life. You know, in this area about living your life, you find uh, most people being caught up here. This thing about living your life, you know, when growing up, let me say that I've uh, I've also tried to live somebody else's life or some other people's some other people's life, but now I now now but now I know that I don't have to force issues. Like I just. Uh, need to live a simple life, the life that I can afford. You know, let's say Ninapata salary uh, this is an example. I'm getting a salary of ten thousand and uh, I want to leave a house in seven thousand and I have my bills to pay. I have you know like human beings the need that we have you have to buy food in the house you have to pay the bills you have to refill your gas you have to do this and that and uh, your class in your mejieka, your mshari in because you're trying to copy someone else, I'm going to jaribu kuonyesha what who go into the society that you can live this life. You know, it's not right. It's not right. Let's just live within our limits. And uh, mm, that has really taught me a lot because, you know, you you can choose to live a simple life in your name And... Uh, there's nothing as uh, there's nothing as faking life until you make it. You know that uh, thing about faking life. You can go fake your life and maramusho uh, You're trying to please other people out there, but the person who is hurting, like who is going through hell, it's you. Why why do you have to put yourself in so much, and yet you can afford a simple life? With what you have so let's just live a simple life and another thing I learned is um, is uh, stop doubting your ability like stop doubting your ability you know sometimes we go there and downgrade ourselves to Najidalisha yes let me Okay, I think it's kujidunisha. Yeah, sometimes tunajidunisha unaona tu like uwezi. You know, like girl, each and every time you know like that's the voice of the devil and uh, most of the time utasikia like you want to do something and that ka voice back there inakwambia like you can't mota kufanya. Whatever you need to do, just go for it because you can. You can do whatever you want to do. Because even the Bible says that you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. Let that be your word. Like, I can do whatever thing. Let me not doubt my ability because Christ has given me strength. 
to do whatever thing I need to do. Never doubt your ability. And that's it for this video. I hope you've enjoyed and you've learned something from it. Kindly subscribe to the channel, like my video. Um, also share it with your friends and turn on your turn on and turn on your notification bell so that you'll be notified anytime I upload a new video. I love you guys. See you in my next video. Bye.